Watch you guys been asked to make a video on doing a repair install on Windows 7. Now I did make a refresh uh, repair of Windows 8 video the other day which is the similar sort of thing and Windows 7 again is totally different to Windows 8 and the same thing with XP okay so here we have our system why are we going to need to do a repair install well a repair install basically allows us to repair Windows 7 without losing any of our data or anything like that okay what it's going to do is basically put Windows over the top of Windows and put all those files back so if you tried check disk uh, SFC scan now system restore or anything like that and it's still not working there's something gone wrong then this is the answer okay before you start to think about wiping the system and uh, putting the operating system back to factory settings and losing everything okay so let's go ahead and uh, look at some of the things we're going to need to do okay we're going to need a Windows 7 DVD that's the uh, important part because you can't do it without that the next thing you're going to need is the original 25 uh, key character product key uh, which is should be with a DVD or it'll be on the case of the desktop or it'll be on the bottom of the laptop or somewhere okay it'd be a little label now without that you can't uh, put the product key back in now if you haven't got it you can use magic jelly bean to get that product key back for you okay and it's a free download and this will pull it off the system so you can use that product key okay the next thing you want to look at really is making a backup of your system before you start now backing up is the most important part because if it goes wrong and it fails halfway through you're going to lose everything okay so you can do that inside windows and you need to go to backup type backup in the bottom here like so backup and restore and then create a system image now you don't have to use windows you can use a cronus or any other tool like that but that's the most important part first is make sure you back up back up back up back up three most important things you'll hear in computing that's the thing you want to do first once you've got that done and you want to make sure that's on an external drive or something like that so it's not going to get wiped okay the next thing you want to look at is service pack one now if you have got service pack one installed what you want to do is come to the bottom here right click on the computer go properties and you will see service pack 1 if it's got service pack 1 installed and your DVD doesn't have service pack 1 built into it which it probably hasn't then you're going to need to uninstall service pack 1 before you do the repair install okay now you can do that uh, by going to control panel and then programs and features and then once you get up here you want to go to view installed updates now, so here we have the actual footage of what you're going to be seeing if your system is full of updates and that's exactly what it's going to look like okay and what you need to do is come down to where it says service pack so look in here and you're looking for service pack for Microsoft Windows you want to highlight that and then you want to click uninstall before you proceed okay okay so next thing we're going to do is make sure we're running as administrator and and remember two probably important notes is that you can't uh, boot to a CD and do a repair install it must be at the desktop okay that's the only way you can do a repair install with Windows 7 and uh, and just as I said you can't do it from safe mode or boot to a CD okay so let's get started so what we want to do here is click on the install now button here it's going to click on the setup is starting it's going to try to get it going here the next thing we want to do here is go online and get the latest updates for the installation what we want to do here now is uh, accept the uh, license terms and the important part is go to upgrade this is going to keep everything okay do not want to go to custom we want to go to here and this will take some time and what it's going to do is copy all the Windows files and put them back in
OK, now it's going to start to gather the file settings and all the programs that you had on your system. So we don't lose none of those. OK, it's just going to expand Windows files now. Now, depending on how many programs you have got, it will take some time. It's just going to do a quick re uh, restart now. Just don't touch the keyboard here. Just let this load in and just don't touch the keyboard. Now this will take some time, so just let it run its course. OK, so now we've got to the installing the features and the up, updates part here. So we're near the end now. This shouldn't take too much longer now. Just needs to do another quick restart here. Remember, don't touch the keyboard here. Same thing again, just leave it alone. Just let it boot up. So it's just preparing to start the computer for the first time. And then now we need to put our product key in. You can choose whatever you like here. And then select your time zone. Click next and then you need to connect on to your home network. Let's just prepare the desktop now. So we'll just let this load up and there you are. Back to the desktop. So that's basically how you do a a repair install on Windows 7. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support by rating and favourite my videos. And I'll be uh, making more useful videos again in the future. So have a great weekend, guys, and I'll see you again real soon. Thanks again. Bye for now.